Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Pensacola, Florida, it's time for Pensacola Business Radio. Now, here are your Business Radio X hosts. Oh, good morning, everybody. Keith over here broadcasting live from downtown Pensacola. That was really loud in my ears, so I'm kind of like recouping. Tammy's over there sort of falling out of her stool. <laughs> See here? <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a great little spotlight episode that we're doing for the uh, Better Business Bureau. And so we're going to really kind of get into it. And I thought as we as we started talking this morning, business for business and business and it's like four B's today. <laughs> it's like one more than three. It's, it's, it's out of control. So, so hi, welcome. Hi, thank you. Thanks for, for being here. Me. I'm glad I answered the door this time. Yeah. That was <laughs> it's amazing what happens when the guests actually show and I, I actually answered the door. So, uh, tell me about, well, tell me about your world really. My world? Yeah. Personally or BBB world? <laughs> That's entirely <laughs> up to you. I was probably say let's go BBB, but you know, if you need some therapy, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe we can schedule another time for there that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I'll be sure um, to answer the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the communications director for the Better Business Bureau. We serve Northwest Florida. So we are covering the 14 counties here in the Panhandle. We go from the Alabama state line all the way over to Leon County. Yeah. We don't go into Leon County. That's our sister BBB in Jacksonville. But we do cover the 14 counties. And as communications director, I am covering all of those. So, yeah. So what um, does that mean? You're, like, li- you're literally, like you're traveling to them, aren't you? I'm on the road quite a bit. Yeah. Um, we're actually in our torch award season that I'll talk about a little bit later. And I've been going to a lot of rotaries and actually, you know, asking them to highlight their businesses. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, we have this torch award that we want to recognize the businesses for the way that they do business ethically mm-hmm. um, and the right way. Um, and so, yeah, I've gone all the way to Panama City in the last couple of weeks. Wow. They're slowly getting back together, aren't they? They are. I actually didn't get into Panama City because where I was going was the outskirts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, slowly but surely. Um, but we got some scams going on around there too, which yeah. I That's what highlight. happens with the hurricane, right? Yeah. All the time. All the time. So um, when when the Better Business Bureau comes in and, and sort of you do your, your communication or whatever, like what are you looking for with within the business community? Um, we want to highlight businesses that are doing things the right way. Um, and so we, you can be accredited with us and basically we vet you. Um, Mm -hmm. and so when someone goes on our website, which is bbb.org before they go to a local business, um, they can check out your profile. And if you're accredited with us, then they know that you, if you need a license to do what you do, Mm -hmm. that we've made sure that your license is up to date. And, um, every year we make that um, available, Mm -hmm. (coughs) excuse me. Um, and we have somebody in our office that checks it out to make sure that you're up to date on all of your, um, things because you, you, we, when we talked about the hurricane, lots of times we'll have those hurricane chasers and they'll come in and, um, even though they may know what they're doing and they actually may (coughs) be licensed in other areas, Mm -hmm. if they're not licensed in Florida and you live in Florida and you hire them, then if something happens, then yeah, you don't really re- have anything to do. Really? Yeah. So we make sure huh. that they're licensed. So people can just call you and say, what about this business? And kind of check them out and, and really get the lowdown before they get started with somebody? Exactly. They can call us. They can go on our website um, and they can look and see how long that person, that business has been around. Mm-hmm. Um, the key players, um, if they've ha- had any reviews, we'd love uh, for consumers after they have uh, been a customer of a business to go mm-hmm. on our website, onto that pers- the business's profile and actually leave a, a review. Hopefully it's a positive review, mm-hmm. but we also have that opportunity for negative reviews. And um, as well as complaints <clears throat> now when that uh, and when that happens you all address those with the business first before they end up like out there and exactly yeah. and that's what the vetting process also yeah. uh, allows us to do so um on other websites that yeah. we will <laughs> yeah no i got you <laughs> remain nameless um you can just put up whatever you want to and, and they don't even find out if yeah. that person actually went to that business yeah or if it's a real person <clears throat> exactly so what we do is um once you do it uh, especially if it's a complaint, but also reviews. Um, once you do, uh, do that online, then, um, you'll get an email back and that is to make sure that the email is an actual email. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and you have to, you know, um, click on the fact that it is you. So yeah. that, that's the verification. You to verify the storefronts exactly. and the, the traffic lights and all that exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so afterwards, um, you know, positive, negative, whatnot, um, we, 
get that review in or the complaint in and then we send it to the business and we say, hey, you know, was this person a customer of yours? Yeah. Um, if they write back and they say, or they call us and they say, you know, we don't even have record of that person. Right. Um, we don't even sell orange juice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, and so then we, you know, we get back with the consumer and say, do you have a receipt? Do you have anything that proves? And nine times out of 10, if that actually happens, mm -hmm. we never hear from that person right. again. Because course. unfortunately, there are people out there that are other businesses that are in competition mm -hmm. and they want to try they play to dirty. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, unlike other websites where it takes, you know, I yeah. want to say an act of God to get something down mm -hmm. if it isn't right. We don't put it up until we verify. Yeah. Which is uh, so obviously I've been through that experience, which was, which was why I asked. We had uh, uh, back in the day um, in, a, in, a, in a former life <laughs> uh, owned a business and we had some people that were just doing, they were doing just that. They were competing and they were putting up horrible reviews and, and it was, a re we were a restaurant. So, you know, oh, one bad review and you exactly. know, or one, somebody calling rat or cockroach mm -hmm. or whatever. And what's this in my soup? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, um, we had luckily we were members of the better business bureau. So when mm -hmm. it happened, they were obviously on our side first, um, because the person that called was not a member and we got the benefit of the doubt and it was mm -hmm. nice because nothing got posted or out there publicly right. because we were able to dispute and prove that, you know, right. we didn't have rats in our soup. Mm -hmm. So not that rats like soup anyway, <clears throat> honestly. Um, okay. So what's the difference between the better business bureau and the chamber? Um, we actually have businesses that we work with, um, when exactly with those types of things, uh, our seal is over a hundred years old and it basically tells somebody that we have gone ahead and made sure that, uh, you're doing business the correct way and that you, um, you are who you say you are. It's not, I'm not saying the chamber doesn't, right. but they don't have to do the vetting process. Yeah. So you're more of a regulatory style yes. of things. Yeah. So we make sure, you know, we, we want the marketplace to be an ethical marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're here. Okay, so let's talk about some ethics because um, you would think that they come easy to people, but they are quite the physical challenge, aren't they? They can be. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. They're, we know they're out there. It's okay. Um, so what are some of the, just give us an example of some of the, the uh, ethics that are expected. Well, um, we want you to build trust. Mm -hmm. um, we want you to uh, advertise honestly. Um, we actually have a new website now called uh, bbb.org Ad Truth. And if you see an ad either in newspapers or um, mm -hmm. on TV or a billboard that you think isn't accurate, yeah. you can go online and fill out the, our form. And um, <clears throat> and it, it's all around the country. So if you're in a different part of the country and you know where yeah. you are, you actually can can put that in so um, it's like on Snopes. the website. Site. For advertising. Kind of. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool. And so it'll go to um, the zip code of the, mm -hmm. the BBB and um, we'll t if it's in our area, then we'll take it. And then we actually do ad reviews. Um, I, I use, a, um, you know, if a business says that they're number one in the world and, mm -hmm. and they're in Pensacola, <laughs> yeah. we're not going to say that they're wrong, but we're going to ask them to prove yeah, that, sure. you know, what they say. Yeah. And if they can't, then we're going to ask them to um, alter their advertising because we want the consumer to, you know, right. be able to know that it's... Um, like you're not the only one up. that makes orange juice. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, we're not a government agency. We're, um, That's we're not good. A so there's no red tape, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're open when other agencies aren't. There you go. There you go. No <laughs> national holidays? All right. <laughs> um, All the good, no bad. <laughs> yeah. But we're not law enforcement either. So we can't yeah. make anybody do anything. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, the profile that we have for that business, if they don't, you know, alter their mm -hmm. advertising, or uh, it, it will go up and, you know, people can see that that is the truth. So, you know, you say you're not the uh, legal authorities, but it's funny because these days, like, I think the power in business is held by the people more, yes. more so ever than by any mm -hmm. sort of enforcement agency. But the the power of reviews and the speed of social media, I mean, you can exactly. be shut down so quick just because you're not doing the right thing. Exactly. You know? So I think yeah, I can see both sides of, of why we need you. Mm -hmm. And then also it's like, you're right. And even if they were policing, you, you just re you really can't you know right. five reviews from somebody and, and, i mean and people are looking at that stuff that's exactly. really what they're going for these days so and i tell people um i do presentations um all over our area on identity theft and um 
predatory lending and scams. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and I tell people, you know, go on the our, our website, look at the profiles, um, look at the reviews, look at the positive and the negative reviews, look at the complaints. Yeah. Don't not do business with a business simply because they have a bad review or they have a right. complaint. Look and see how they worked with BBB mm-hmm. and worked with a consumer because yeah. sometimes how they resolved the problem. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Look at how that that's the way, you know, somebody that goes through the yeah. process and, and wants to make things right. Um, and again, you know, sometimes the business will do everything that they humanly possibly can say somebody wants their money back and they give them their money back. Well, a customer still might not be happy, right. which is their prerogative, but if they've gotten their money back, what else can the business do? Yeah. True. So we resolve it as closed and the, you know, the business did what they could. Right. So, um, okay, what other kind of reference materials or, or, or things are on your side or in, in your organization that if I'm starting a business might be good for me? Starting a business, you actually have to be in business six months. Okay. Yeah. That's still starting a business. That's <laughs> that's still startup. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, basically the, the six months, um, we'll just, you know, check you out and, and make sure, like I said, again, we'll, um, we have someone in our office that's really good. I'd never want to cross her mm-hmm. because she knows, <laughs> she knows the websites to go to mm-hmm. and, and to look and make sure that you've gone through the process and, and um, made sure that you've got your regulations yeah. and everything intact. In um, and then, you know, we just um, help you with that seal and you they, they can put it on their social media yeah. and whatnot. Um, and we welcome them, you know, as a, an accredited business. And then we just, you know, offer them the opportunity to come to us and see whatever we can do, you know, yeah. to help them with their business. So I know you live in the world, so this is probably going to be a way biased question, but do people... Actually, do they go looking for the Better Business Bureau seal before they do business? Do you find a lot of people like calling you to find out if we they are We have people or not calling or? every day, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, and that's why I like to go out and give these presentations and let them know that the BBB is still there. Right. And we are one resource. <clears throat> um, we have only the information that we can gather, you know, which is one um, BBB. So mm-hmm. if you know something about a business or, you know, uh, an individual in a business, you know, let us know so we can look at. And, and again, you know, that's why good we and do bad too, advertising. By the Pardon? Good and bad, too, by the hey, way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't yeah, always well, have to be bad. <laughs> yeah, well, let's talk about our tour towards, if you don't yeah. mind, because yeah. that's what we want to do. Uh, you don't have to be accredited with us. Um, if you know of a business or you work with the business, nominate that business. Yeah. Our, our deadline is March the 15th. Can you um, self-nominate? Yes. Awesome. Definitely Perfect. you can self-nominate. Um, and what will happen is if it's a business, because um, we have three parts to our torch awards. So uh, you fill out the form. You can do it online um, or um, get with us with a brochure or, or stop by our office at 912 East Gadsden Street. And we'll certainly, you know, you can fill one out right yeah. there. Um, we'll send you a list of questions and then we'll set up an interview for um, a couple of our reviewers to come out and yeah. just talk to you about your business. And um, we have have, uh, like I said, 14 counties. So we broke them up into three districts. So Escambia and Santa Rosa are district one, Okaloosa, Walton, district two, Bay, and the other districts over are district three. And so that's how we do our okay. awards. So are we competing against the districts or are we competing against ourselves? Ourselves. Okay. okay. <laughs> I said, we're going to be like down with district three. Yeah. yeah. And we've yeah. had, you know, <laughs> uh, we've had businesses that have, you know, been across the board. So we've given out yeah. two awards or if they yeah, were, if you have a spot in each of the districts. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Take yes. all three. Just, <laughs> just call it a clean sweep. Yeah. And then we also have customer service excellence. So if you have an individual in your organization mm-hmm. or if you work, you know, outside your organization, you have someone that you work with on a regular basis and they just go above and beyond to help yeah. you, you know, nominate them as an individual because we also have that. That's good because that is such an underrated piece of it doing is. business these days. And it's, and it's funny because as underrated as it still is in, in when you get great customer service, it really makes an impression because you don't always get great customer service, Right. but it's also going to be, it's, it's becoming the equalizer between reviews like your product being legit and, and actually mm-hmm. doing what it says it does and solving problems. And then the customer service, like those are the two things that are going to keep you sustained I think, right, exactly. as, a, as a business owner and as a person in business. Well, so, and you're showing that individual that they're doing the right thing and that yeah. they're being noticed. Yeah. Which um, is nice. Exactly. You know, sometimes it's more than money. 
You know? Yeah. I mean, when, when they did the uh, surveys and stuff, a lot of times it was, it was recognition was the one thing mm-hmm. that they wanted even more than, than a raise. And if it comes outside their business, that shows their bosses, their supervisors, mm-hmm. that other people are seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. not just their own in, inside. Then the third part is um, we have scholarships for juniors and seniors. Um, again, broken up into districts. Mm-hmm. In the last several years, we've been able to give three $1,000 scholarships. So it just depends on how much um, we uh, we have an online auction that I'll mm-hmm. talk about in a couple of minutes to help us out. Um, but, um, you know, juniors and seniors in uh, District 1 and 2, which is Escambia, Santa Rosa County, or the other districts, um, we do the same way as we do with the business and the mm-hmm. customer service excellence. So we've been able to give out three and, um, some have uh, one year they came all from one school, awesome. but it just, you know, they, our reviewers look at everything that they have to do. They yeah. have to do an essay. Um, you know, uh, their, cus- our, their, um, community service, uh, mm-hmm. plays into it. Um, if they apply as a junior and they don't receive it, they can reapply as a senior. Um, and they just let us know the, the recipients let us know what, um, mm-hmm what school they're going to right. and give us that information and we send the check right directly to the school. Yeah. And this year free we're actually, money kids, free money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you're going to need it. <laughs> yes. Um, and this year we're actually asking the recipients to uh, videotape them reading their essay so that we can post <sighs> it. Nice. It's also so you don't have to sit there and read it. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, it's just the recipients that yeah. do it. But, um, it, it just gives, you know, we want to have that presence out yeah. there, um, yeah. and show, so it's not just a name and, and a school. So right. they actually see that person. Um, cause you know, more and more, uh, not just social media, but the interaction of the young people going to college is a little mm-hmm. bit different than yeah. when you and I. Yes. Did I it. try, I, I try to be young enough that I still know all the dirty tricks they're up to. So like, <laughs> so like I can catch the kids sneaking out the window, but I'm also, I'm also still distanced enough to be like, what are y'all talking about sometimes? So yeah, you know. exactly. Um, I but think that has to happen though. I think it's sort of a, it's a, it's a rite of passage. True. Yeah, you know, for, for both to a of certain us. extent. <laughs> for both yeah, of us. A, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. um, but then we have an online auction that's coming up April 20, uh, 22nd through May 1st. And any business that is out there um, that has a service or, mm-hmm. you know, a product uh, that they would like to donate, we would love to have it on our online auction because cool. that's how we help fund our program. Yeah, we'll throw something in. For, okay, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. We like to do that. Um, it, it Obviously, we, we just like the content. So it, it, you wouldn't <laughs> believe who it brings through these doors. <laughs> well, you know, you didn't let me in last week. So. Well, there's a certain protocol I do have to meet, you know. Um, so I want to know who regulates the BBB? Do you all have an over, a governing board that, that, that for each individual entity? We or? do. Okay. We, we, we have a membership into the council um, of BBB, which right now... So is it's the business BBB. owners that actually participate in... in yes. We're self, cool. And self-regulation. Yeah. Democracy at its right. finest. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So if anybody's interested or uh, wants to get any more information, where can we send them to? BBB.org. Um, I will give you the the information for the um, torture war because it's a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. It is BBB.org slash NWFL for Northwest Florida okay. slash Torch Award. That will take you directly to our website for the Torch Awards. Mm-hmm. And again, the deadline is March fifteenth at two p.m. Very and that's, cool. so that's two weeks from tomorrow. Okay. And so what? And what's it? So what's it take to nominate? You just put their name in and say why they're they're good at what they do? You or? just put their name and address in. If it's a business, mm-hmm. you just fill out the form that's the name and the address and you, if you're, you know, the nominator. Mm-hmm. And then once we um, get past our deadline, then there's someone in our office that will uh, contact the business, right. tell them that they've been nominated, especially if it's not the business themselves that are nominating right. them. And they'll send them a list of questions and, and set up a, a, a an interview. on-site interview. Very cool. Yeah. So you make, make sure that they are legit. Right. Exactly. I mean, you know, and then, <laughs> and then, um, uh, so for those that may ask, what's the interview process like? Is it, is it, they just want to know, uh, how you run your business. Um, you know, what processes that do you go to? Yeah. Um, we know that they've been in business again, they don't have to be accredited, but they do have to be in business at least six months because mm-hmm. they have, and, to and be, they don't, but they don't have to be members. Necessarily. They do not have okay. to be accredited with us. No. Yeah. Um, we might be talking to them while we're there sure. interviewing sure. them about yeah. that. Um, but that is not a crutch. Now. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that. Though. What is criteria for 
being accredited and being a member. Well, we talked about the trust building mm -hmm. um, and advertising, honestly. Um, make sure that you are telling the truth um, all the time. Be transparent, you know, um, open and honest again. Um, <laughs> we are human. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, be responsive. Uh, you know, again, when we, when we get something from a customer and we reach out to the business, we want you to respond. Mm -hmm. um, safeguard privacy you know we don't want um someone doing business with you and then all of a sudden you yeah, take their information, information uh and you third parties and cookies and all that other fun <laughs> stuff I, I say this i just wrote my internet policies yesterday too because we were redoing our website so it's been fun yeah um and integrity <laughs> is yeah. big um so yeah we we just um we want you to do things ethically and, yeah. and we just you know we we're big on self-regulation um because you know it, it's one of those things where it's a lost um aspect right. of things um and again you know when a lot of times um we'll get into the scams because that's really my, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my thing um but when we have our, our my thing did i actually say yeah that? Yes. Um, <laughs> scams are your thing tammy Scam, tammy's things are scams yeah. um you heard it here first yeah and gentlemen. thank you very much <laughs> um but um when we have the the situation like we had a tornado a few years ago when mm -hmm. it came through literally the storm chasers were there as soon as it went away right. um and so we had started having phone calls from consumers because they were actually showing at people's homes saying you know i'm here to help right. um and five hundred dollars later yeah, yeah or more i yeah. mean there's a lot more involved in yeah. it um some people you know they don't understand or realize that um these uh people that come in even though they might say they know what they're doing and they might have a business card mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they're here um For legally benefit. yeah yeah. Exactly. And anybody that wants all their money up front, like if it's something's going to cost you $4,000 and they say, no, I've got to have $4,000 up front, you know, tell them bye bye. Um, yeah. They might have to get something up front, but they don't have to get the whole thing up front. Right. And you certainly don't want to pay for anything, especially if it's something to your home, like in that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. You don't want to pay the balance off of anything until you've had that inspected. Yeah. Because True. if you ha if you don't and then you pay them, there's no obligation yeah, for done. them to come back if yeah. they're not a you know if they don't have right. the right licenses. So, yeah. so might as well leave the obligation in your hands. Right. Yeah. Um, Panama City is in a situation right now. Um, we had a call from a woman in the first part of the week. She was online um, on one of the social medias mm -hmm. with an instant message, and she got one from what she thought was a friend of hers, and they were telling her about this grant that she could get because it I've was for bad. Yep. Well, it's for people that were in, you know, tight situations. Mm -hmm. And so they um, basically told her that if she um, sent $650 for the insurance yeah. on an Amazon card. that's how card, grants work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, because she lost her home with Hurricane yeah. Michael, um, she sent them the 650 with yeah. the Amazon card. Well, and of course, then, she's hopeful, you know. she's I Exactly. Mean, that's and what I happens. Mean, they prey on it. And, and when I, you know, talk to people and they roll their eyes when they hear that, I'm like, you have no idea yeah. what kind of situation you might be in where you just want to believe mm -hmm. that that actually will happen. Yeah. And she sent them another $400. Um, for additional insurance. And then when they came back and asked her all on instant message, right. they came back and asked her for $750 for attorney's fees. That's when she finally, you know, the light bulb went right. on right. and she called us. Um, but we had someone in, in the um, Midwest that was a BBB employee and she got the IRS call. Oh, and, yeah. you know, she wouldn't even give her name out to us. I want to, to believe us. that the IRS would actually call me to <laughs> warn me that I'm going to be charged or arrested yeah, for exactly. not paying taxes. But so. she had actually gone out and bought the cards and was yeah. giving the number off when it finally hit her. So, you know, even though she didn't want her name to be known, mm -hmm. I, I tell people if that would have happened, to me i would have told you because that way me doing this for almost four years now mm -hmm. it just goes to prove that it doesn't matter who you are or what kind of education you have you know, you're moving too fast or, exactly. or you just you, you're not expecting it and or you're in this one of the situations where you just want to get out of it and and it happens i i've luckily have not been scammed i've, I've been 
I'm not moving fast enough. So I've been, I've been very <laughs> slow when those things happen. But uh, a couple of them have been the robots, which obviously gives them away real quick, especially when the translation from Russian into American <laughs> under the IRS robot recorder right. doesn't really work. Right. You know, it's like. Uh, um, or they mispronounce your name. Yeah. That's always a good yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, but then. I've gotten a couple live ones with the, you know, the dudes from Bali or wherever they are. Yes. And a lot of them are coming from India. Yeah. So I just start repeating everything they say. They hate it. <laughs> they hate it. They, Cause I'm like cards. They're like, yes, cards, I'm like cards. Yes, cards. You know? And so anyway, try it at home. <laughs> get, get a good well, giggle. we actually have a, a, a giveaway that I do um, when I do uh, presentations and um, I do it uh, or give it away a lot for seniors mm -hmm. because they, you know, they, they <clears> want <throat> to talk to somebody or they don't mm -hmm. look at the caller ID and they just answer the phone and then they don't, you know, feel comfortable just hanging up on someone. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, uh, one side of this is a little light for you mm -hmm. and it's a keychain. The other side is a whistle. Just blow it in yeah, the Nice, phone right into the phone. And then, um, you know, let it yeah. go. But the grandparent scam is a big one. Yep. Um, and I've talked to several people in our, our geographical area that have been taken for 1500 yeah. you know, $2,000. So, And that's the one that's been hitting here lately, isn't it? It's one of the ones, yeah. yeah. I mean, it... It's really sad because it, it pulls on the heartstrings. Yeah. Um, and, you know, <laughs> because that's your inheritance. Uh, no. yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on, make a laugh. Um, it's um, the grandparents, you know, they say, don't don't tell mom or dad because I don't want to get in mm -hmm. any more trouble, depending on what they are. Um, I talk to the military on a regular basis and I let them know, you know, with social media these days, um, anybody can look at your profile if you don't have the settings correct for privacy. And your grandparents, you know, I talk to grandparents that the only way they see their grandchildren sometimes is on you know things mm -hmm. like social media because right. they don't live close by and so they're on there and they're susceptible because yeah. their name is associated with their children and grandchildren right. well so a scammer can go on and find out all these names it's not hard to get a phone yeah. number um, yeah. of everybody, a person now everybody cries about privacy 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 and they don't even realize how much information you give away every day Oh, and you don't even have to give it away. Yeah, Something's a there. public record. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> um, a couple of years ago, I Googled my name and uh -huh. it's a common name and an aerial shot of my house came up. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. There's my home address, yeah. you know, right there get, for anybody. Um, I still get a place I lived like six years ago and a car I owned six years ago is still in the driveway of the aerial shot, like the Google map or whatever. Yeah, is because still, of the it, age yeah, of, the, yeah. of the shots. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could be a good um, tool to use if mm -hmm. you're looking for something or, you know, like I, you know. Googled you before I came here yeah. to find out where I, here I wanted I to know where I am. I got the address, but you know, it's nice to see yeah. the front so of the, the building. The address doesn't matter. It's the, you got to answer the door. Yeah, well, that's right? true. You know, I mean, <laughs> who cares where you are? If you can't get in, you can't get in, you know? Well, at least, you know, I, I knew I was in the right place for today, but, yeah. um, but yeah, I mean, there's so much out there that's public record and now it's all on the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, you've got the data breaches. Um, yep. you know, when you're another thing that happens with those social media, um, when they ask you to play this little game and yeah. they ask you things like your, um, you know, where did you grow up? What street right. did you grow up right. on? What did you name your first or whatever? Well, what are they actually asking yeah. if you think about All it? All of your security question answers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So and just throw them a understand. loop and just be like the moon and, you know, <laughs> Saturn. Or, um, one of the other, uh, um, ones that gets me oh i just lost my train of thought it was when you said that they play the games and stuff on the social media i don't know anyway go ahead i, I totally <laughs> just totally lost it no well when you get it back you can just go yeah I'll go, oh, oh, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. not no. three o'clock in the morning though don't no. email me no. um <laughs> I, I won't you won't answer the door anyway so well that? yeah that's true <laughs> um but yeah the grandparent scam um the irs of course you know that's out mm -hmm. one of the things for businesses um small businesses medium size it doesn't really matter but um we've had a really influx of w-2 uh, scams and basically that's when an email for the accountant or whoever takes care of all of your w-2s gets an email supposedly from the chairman mm -hmm. or the president saying hey can you please send me a list of all the employees with the w-2 so mm -hmm. i can review them and without thinking about it mm -hmm. they've been sent and they're gone 
And they're gone. And um, I can tell you that in another state, um, my nephew worked for a county and over 300 employees. Yeah. And after it had happened, it was about almost a month before they were told about it. But it was in February, right as IRS was accepting mm -hmm. people's returns. And um, he had friends that he worked with that had already had their returns sent in and the refunds sent to supposedly the mm -hmm. people, but really the scammers because all oh, they no. needed was their W-2s. And um, there was one uh, person that they told me about that had gotten a credit card in the mail and she just cut it up and threw it away. And I said... She, you need to tell her to check her credit report mm -hmm. because these days you go online and you order a, a credit card, you get instant credit. Yeah. So yeah. she probably already had money on that that right. was going to be on her credit report. Um, and so I think I was... <laughs> I think I was on the phone with him for about a half an hour and yeah. I, I don't know what he, <laughs> okay, Aunt Tammy, okay, Aunt Tammy. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I just wanted him because he said, oh, well, they're going to pay for this and they're going to do this. I'm like, well, you need to do it on your own. Right, right. Because just like anything else, you can have somebody help you, mm -hmm. but you're the only one that's going to, um, to, Care to about be affected. Yourself? Yeah, yeah so exactly. I remember what it was. I was going to okay. say. So there is a site, um, which I discovered, uh, I think about two weeks ago. Uh, that will tell you if your email addresses have been snagged in a data breach. Yes. And it's, uh, it's well, one of the sites that I know it's pogged, P-O-W-G-E-D. Okay. Dot com. And if you, it, you pull it up, it's an open source site. Um, the guy that's done it is one of the, you know, freedom fighter dudes, mm -hmm. but you put your email address in and it'll tell you where and where you were breached and what was breached during that. And so I surprisingly say I had two of mine that were, which I, I knew they were, it was my Yahoo account, which is why I don't use uh -huh. Yahoo anymore. And one of my old, old, old AOL accounts, <laughs> which I don't use anymore either. Yeah, um, like I, my mom and dad who still have AOL. <laughs> Until you got to switch, it's time to switch. <laughs> yeah, so. that that was a very popular one. One of the only ones that was out there, you know, early yeah. on. Um, we also have a scam that's going around. And I've I've received several emails since I actually reported on this, and you get an email that gives you one of your passwords mm -hmm. and tells you, you know, not only do I have your password, but I got into your computer yeah. and I watched you watching yeah. porn. Uh -huh. And, and I had this recorded and, and you send I money. got, yeah. So, yeah. you know, and you got to pay by Bitcoin. Uh -huh. And, um, it was funny because I, I looked at it and I, and the, the first thing I didn't think of was the porn thing, although, yes, no, I had not watched porn, <laughs> but um, it said that I watched you with your webcam, and, and my first thought was, I don't have a webcam. Right. <laughs> not the porn not, thing. Not that I wasn't watching porn. Way to go, Tammy. <laughs> but the, web, but yeah. the webcam. So, um, you know, your mind works differently when yeah. you work on this all the time. Yeah, I guess. But um, I've gotten several of them, but it's always Bitcoin, and they say, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. They mm -hmm. actually say that, mm -hmm. and then they give you a certain amount of money to do right. within 24 hours, or they're going to send and, you know, this video. Right. And you don't know. Contacts. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know if you've been hacked or no. not. So um, no. a couple of things. I always put the cover. I get the little cover for the okay. cameras. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that when I am watching the screen, <laughs> not that there's any of that stuff on there, but like the, because even when you're not like if you walk away, I mean, they get, you know, if somebody can yes. get your camera and see into your house yes. and see when you're home, when you're not home. And, uh, and parents really need to take note of that because yeah. they're kids. Yep. With Especially laptops or computers, and stuff, yeah. yeah, and and they may not realize that they're walking around their room if their yep. computer is open or if computer is on. Mm -hmm. They, somebody could be watching their kids. Yeah. And uh, I always uh, had to warn them, you know, watch where you're taking pictures and stuff too, because people can pick up where yes. you are in the house. What, you know, what is, is that window open? Is that sliding glass door open? You know, those kinds of things. Yeah. That, uh, um, and the kids were like, whatever. And I'm like, okay. And that goes back to the grandparents too, because, um, you know, on social media, people put a lot of things that they probably shouldn't. Yeah. And so if they're, you know, on vacation or this time of year, especially getting into spring break, mm -hmm. we're going to probably see an influx of the grandparent scam yeah. because they're going to be getting calls saying that their grandchild is in, um, a, you know, like Cancun or right. on spring right. break somewhere and they've fallen or whatnot. Um, but that's because they can see it on social media because people, take yeah. pictures of where they are and whatnot. Because you tell them every second of your life. Yeah. <laughs> I used to think I don't really need to know that you went to the restroom, but thank you very much yep. for sharing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I go... reason Twitter was admitted. Uh, I go away and I don't, I don't, you know, I, I put, I post the pictures after I come back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because you just yeah. never know. I mean, unfortunately, it's like, you've uh, got to be. It's like getting, you know, you have somebody pick up your newspaper. Or yeah. you have somebody pick up your mail. Like these, right. are the, these are the old school ways. Now it's, you don't post on social media. You get back. Exactly. You're right. yeah. I still tell people to have their mail held yeah. and, and to go pick it up. Because one thing, I, I actually went, uh, left my house and went down my development. I think it was Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. And um, every mailbox, and there was like 12 homes, every mailbox, the door was uh, wide open. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, was it somebody just Publisher's came by and played? <laughs> <laughs> come, come by to pick your winner. Yeah, exactly. But I tell people, you know, if you're still paying um, bills uh, and you're putting it in your mailbox, don't do it in yeah. your mailbox yeah. because they have a check washing now that they can just copy your signature yep. and wash that check Call and they day. can make it for whatever they want to. Yeah. So, by the way, if you are still paying bills in the mail, call me. We'll work through that. <laughs> Okay. You should, there's no reason for that at all anymore. Ever. Well, there are some people that aren't on the computer yeah, that I know, much, I but, but I just tell them to go do it to a mailbox that uh, yeah. is locked so they yeah. don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we're kind of at the end of our time here, but. Uh, wow. That went by fast. I know. I told you it does. It really does. <laughs> Let's give them the website one more time for okay. uh, both, uh, I guess the torch awards and then if they want to register to be a member. Yeah. BBB.org. Um, at the top, uh, it actually says join, uh, apply. Um, and if you want to do the torch awards, anything from the businesses to the individuals, to the scholarships, it's BBB.org slash NWFL slash torch award. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad I answered the door. <laughs> you, know? you never so, know what's going to walk in. <laughs> that's it, right? Okay, guys, you can find us at Picola Radio X on Twitter. You can find us at Picola BRX on Facebook. Or you can find us on our website at businessradiox.com or on our live stream at businessradiox.live. And this has been Pensacola Business Radio, where business is good and your work matters. All right, I want to thank everybody for listening today. My name is Keith Hilbert. This has been Pensacola Business Radio. You can find us at Picola Radio X on Twitter, Picola BRX on Facebook. You can find us on LinkedIn at Business Radio X Studios Pensacola, or you can find us on Instagram at Pensacola Business Radio, or on our websites at businessradiox.com, or on our live feed at businessradiox.live. If you are interested in being a guest on Business Radio X, please visit either one of our sites or our social media sites to find a link to book your appearance. This has been Pensacola Business Radio, where business is good and your work matters.